Oh, righty then. Welcome back. I'm back. Let's do it. What are we doing now? We just finished up the second great fairy situation, but what do I want to do now? Well, in my head, I'm like, well, there's so much quests and stuff to do, of course, but I kind of want to clear out the things on the map that, um, oh, I don't have to actually go there. I could have just clicked collect. That was nice. Oops. Well, I was going to say I'm going to go pick up this medallion real quick before I go do stuff. But I was thinking I should go do the stuff I marked on the map to do. So next time I do explore some more off screen, you know, I can make new markers and do those. Instead of letting it all accumulate, let's get some of that stuff done. Now, I'm not talking about Korok seeds. We're not doing that shit. Korok seeds can wait. But I'm going to collect this medallion. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to where the other two medallions are that I talked about. That are up in the sky. I marked two spots. There's one here and one down here. Um, sure. Let's do this one first. I said one of them's a crystal that's just sitting on an island. You got to take it somewhere. I didn't even talk to it to see where I got to take it yet. So I can do a shrine. And then the other one, I'm pretty sure, is the third diving mini game. So I'd love to get that done as well. So we can have the full diving armor. That would be cool. So let's do that. So let's see where this needs to go, shall we? Follow the beam. Take it to the thing. Offer me a light, or whatever, whatever. I'm guessing I gotta take it straight down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, guys. You ready? Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Whoa. Wait, where does this got to go? Into What's under here? Oh, okay. Well, we're here. <laughs> so, it's very much like the 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 whirlpool in the Zora Lake, but this is at Lake Hylia. All right. Well, there you go. Easy peasy. All you had to do was drop the crystal into the fucking hole from the from the skies right into the whirlpool and we're in there. Easy peasy. And I think for the most part these cosmic potatoes that I have to return to their spot. They usually are just blessings, so this should be an easy peasy, free light blessing. Easy peasy. I like that. Yep. <laughs> it's a blessing, all right. A raw ru blessing. Beautiful. Easily peasily. Mighty Zonaite sword. That doesn't even look that good, but sure. Can I fuse that with anything? Because that'd be cool. Yeah, make it even more mighty and more less Zona IE. <laughs> Alright. That's another light blessing, so that gives us five. Yeah, that's another reason I should do all the stuff marked on the map, is just to get more shrines, you know? More shrines. Speaking of which, we're going to explore this cave now that we're in here, by the way. I'm not ignoring the fact that I'm in a new cave that I haven't been I haven't really taken the time to look around, look around Lake Hylia. And I immediately saw that bubble frog. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about me. Because a bubble frog is deep. Man, he got wrecked in one shot from afar. Get wrecked, homie. All right, just like that, another bubble gem recovered. Yeah, one day I'll have to comb my map for any caves I did not get bubbled frogs in, like the one earlier. We'll have to go back and try to find these froges that I missed. A big reason for me to explore these caves, besides the bubble frog, is uh, making sure I got all the bright bloom seeds I can hold. Because that underground place, it's a dark and scary place. Break this bitch open, huh? 
Perfect. Broke it open and broke my shit at the same time. So is that all this cave is? Just a bubble frog, a shrine, and that's it? I mean, I'm okay with this. I mean, maybe it's too obvious of a cave. That's why it's not too involved. It's just like, yeah, go in the whirlpool. You've already learned how to do that. If you've done Zora's Domain, of course. If you haven't, then going into the whirlpool might not have appealed to you as much. Just saying. Is it worth swimming back out of here? I wonder. It might be. It might be fun to launch. We Holy crap. A little higher than I expected, but okay. Right, there's a Gleok up on the bridge. I almost forgot about that fool. Well, that's probably why I haven't been over here yet properly. There's also a sign guy down here. Oh, man. And there's a Korok over here, which is kind of what I was thinking it might be the case. Uh, arrow's pointing over there. Is it up there? No. Where's the Korok, man? Are you really telling me it's over here? Hold on. Let me just see if it's like around the outside of this. No, no, no. Get in the water. You can swim. You'll be fine. trying to see if there's like a ledge to go to oh it could be up there actually it's probably up there i didn't realize there was a hole in that pillar never mind it's probably up there hold on give me my climbing outfit yeah speaking of which i didn't have the up materials to upgrade my climbing outfit my climbing shirt uh. oh crap it's raining crap it's raining ah frog outfit quick Give me the Korok. Thank you. Okay. That's all I wanted to do. Luckily, the rain didn't ruin me. That's nice. Okay. Good shit. Got the Korok. Happy joy, joy. Now, sign guy. It's always a sign guy. Is this the new Fire Emblem game? Sure is, Doug. How do you like it? Anyway, what's up, Doug? How you doing? The most action-y, adventure-y, uh, fucking Fire Emblem game you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, Fire Emblem, Tears of the Emblem, exactly. Huh, I just realized this is interesting. You're really gonna make me fucking hold up a sign that's under the water, or like, over the, hanging over the water. You're a real dick, you know that, sir? fit underneath that? No. I didn't mean to fall in the water. Dude's like, hope you brought waterproof boats. Boots. I mean, I technically did. I, I have waterproof boots. You know what? For once, if I have it, I'm going to do this the easy way. I'm going to do this the easy way. I don't always do it the easy way, but right here, this feels annoying, and I don't even want to think about it. I just want to be done with this. So here, talk to him. Sir, let go. It'll be fine. We do it the easy way for once because your position is lame and I don't feel like making a thing that holds it up any other way. <laughs> so we'll cheese that one because fuck it. Yeah, your sign is good now, sucker. Now give me my money and give me all your food. 
Energizing mushroom ah. nightfall, nice. And a bomb flower, always Whoa. helpful. Alright, sign guy has been dealt with once again. Anything else around here before I dip out of Lake Hylia's situation? I don't hear any beep beeps about any shrines, so... Less concerned about that. <clears throat> Bro, I'm at least mechanically minded human being on the planet, and I cannot do physics puzzles. Well, um, I mean, I could have figured that out with all the stuff I had at my disposal here, but it's like, it probably would have took forever, and I didn't want to do it, so I did it the cheesy way. All right, anyway, back to the sky, huh? Let's take this emblem back, medallion, because I already did that one, and let's head over to this medallion. And maybe we can get the final piece of the skydiving outfit. That would be cool. You never would have figured that out? Well, if you had played the game, Doug, then you would know that you have other objects that you can use to help you that make things a little easier. Those Zonai objects that I'm talking about that I just used. Um, you would have known about that. I mean, if you played the game, you would know. That's all I'm trying to say. So it's like, don't feel like you wouldn't have been able to figure it out. It's just you haven't played it, man. If you play it, you could learn. You can learn whatever you need to learn. Look, I'm not a Fire Emblem expert, okay? Fair enough. No one is, man. No one is. Also, that was a fairy that I just scared away. Oops. <gasps> There's a fairy over there. I want it. I want it. Hold on. Give the fairy to me. Come to daddy, fairy bitch. Oh man. Don't go up in the tree. I can't catch you if you're all the way up there, man. Come back down. Didn't see any fires or emblems. Zero out of ten fire emblem game. Yeah, I got the fairy. Nice. All right. Was there another fairy around here? I see another one over there. The good thing about this being a diving mini game is we're gonna get another shrine on top of the fact that this is a shrine, uh, diving mini game. So that's cool, right? All right, friendo, teach me the ways. Radiant light. Blah, blah, blah. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. We haven't done this one. Go through all the rings. I believe we're practicing first, if I'm not mistaken. Usually makes us practice first. Practice. We're talking about practice? We're talking about practice. I like that he doesn't start the time until you click the thing. That's nice. I'll practice dive. Practive? Yeah, practive. That's what they call it. Dude. How did you know? They call it practiving. Anyway, give me all these materials. Just trying to see if there's a Korok up here. There might be, but meh. Not too worried about it right now. Let's just go. What you lack in Fire Emblem skills, you make up for it with practiving skills. I mean, at least you make up for it with something, Doug. Anyway, you're going to hit me with that 3, 2, 1, let's go. Or I think it starts when you... Well, there's no timer on the first run, right? This is just practice. Bravery Island! I'm so brave. Oh, God, the rings move? Not as cool as you would hope, or you would think. The skydiving outfit for the win, though. Helping us move through movable rings. That was actually an easy one. That's easier than the other ones. I know it was moving and I was complaining. But that was not very hard. Anyway. Just like that, another shrine has popped up. Let's go do that real quick. And then we'll do the diving minigame and get ourselves... The reward. 10 out of 10 dive. Thank you. Thank you. My prac diving was a 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Much preach. Cosmic potato. What do we got this time? All these shrines have actually been a challenge. They're not, they're not the uh, freebies. So let's see what they got for me this time. Ooh, it's a dark and... Uh, Ah, it's a dark and they're giving me none of my armor. A lights out proving ground, huh? Well, they're giving me a light shield though, so that's cool. Nice. I'm okay with this. 
terrifying, but I'm okay with this. Gotti. Alright, so my goal here is to defeat all these fuckers. You got it, dude. Well, this place is cool. Is it, though? Is it, though? Hold on. I got an idea. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you drop that on the ground? Grab your weapon. Do a little fusion action. Make that real nice and fancy. Oh, wow. The shield just breaks when you are holding it up? That's kind of crap, but all right, sure. I didn't get a bow yet. Come at me, construct boy. Nice. And got him. <laughs> Must have ordered that shield off of Amazon. Probably. Anyway, let's fuse this with that. Light emitter club, sure. And then let's also fuse this with this. I wonder if this whole room will light up once I'm done. Probably not. All right, who's ready for some flames and fire and fury? Fire, bitch. Damn, I'm burning this fool down. You done, son. Night, night. So many fusions. Ha! Hell yeah. That's what you call a victory. That was actually an easy one overall. <laughs> Even though it was dark. It was like, eh. Ain't nobody stopping me. Because I just got wrecked and she. Oh, whoa. And luckily for the for me, it's most likely this is the only treasure here. I don't have to go look around in the dark for another treasure. But I'll double check my map to make sure. Ooh, a bright elixir. Okay. That's fun. But yep, that's it. Only quest, The only chest quest we needed in there. So see ya. We done. That was only easy because there was only three three little bastards to, to kill, so that wasn't that bad. All right. And like that, we have six blessings. Nice. Nice. Nice moves. Nice moves. Let's go a-diving, shall we? A-diving we will go. A-diving we will go. Hi ho, your mother foe, a diving we will go. <clears throat> Before I forget, let me take this travel medallion as well. We won't need it anymore because there's literally a shrine. Here. <clears throat> that was a victorious sound effect that we needed. All right, one zone I charge. How long do I have? How much time do I get? Thirty-five seconds. <laughs> Child's play. Let's go. And boom, twenty seconds. Let's go. Damn, I destroyed the time. Give me that. Fuck yeah. Proof of my maturity. I got the glide tights, y'all. The full skydiving outfit is mine. Faster and more courageous than any of I have witnessed. Take this in honor of your incredible record. Ooh, large zone I charge. So wait. You get a large zone I charge? Wait, that's a large zone I charge. Never mind. That's not... Never mind. It's not, it's not the charge that I'm thinking of. Never mind. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. It's not the thing that's going to count toward being able to upgrade my batteries, is what I was thinking it was. It's not one of those. 
I was like, if that's the prize, I'm gonna go back and do the other flying mini games. But that's not the prize. Nah, I'm okay. I don't need the record for that. It's a good item to have. You can fill up your battery when you're running out, like on the fly. But I haven't really been doing that. And I got hella charges that I've just been holding on to, hoarding. But anyway, all right, cool. We did the couple things I had marked in the sky that I wanted to do, so that's cool. Well, shit, if I'm going to do the ones marked in the sky, should I go do the ones that I have marked underground, too? I mean, why not, right? <sighs> do I care, though? I'm No, never mind. I take back what I just said. I'm not doing that. <laughs> let's go back to the quest list. Uh, let's go back to the quest list. What else do I have to do? Let's see. I could go figure out the bubble gem guy. I could go figure out this thing over in Terrytown. It's pretty much the only other quest that I have that I really do want to figure out. It's either that or we go do stuff in Kakariko. Yeah. Do I care, though? And it's not that I care or don't care. It's just I don't want to do it right now. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, I'm going to go to Terrytown. Back to Terry Tones. Oh, you mean like, do I care about the record thing? Not really. No. No, I do not. Do not care for it. No, I do not. Because the only other, like, big thing that I keep thinking, like, I should just go around and get shrines. But it's like, if I do quests, I'll get shrines. So I'll end up in places I haven't been. Find shrines. Also, there's a Korok right there. Motherfucker. There's a, I just saw that from above while I was flying over. Like, oh, there's a shiny fucking Korok right there, bitch. You prefer Terrytown with a T-E, but Terrytown's cool, too. The, the one the way they spell it's okay. Fair enough. I understand. All kinds of Terry are allowed around here. But yeah, for this quest, it's like, I don't even know what I need to do. I know who I'm supposed to help, but I don't know how to help them. I have to wait till a certain time of day or something, or just have to figure out who I need to talk to next. I'm going to go talk to the people who gave me the quest in the first place, and we'll go from there, I guess. But I'm pretty sure I talked to everybody in this town already. That's what I should do, man. I should just go to the other towns that I haven't gotten all the quests and stuff for and be like, yo, what other quests don't I have? What other things can I do in Hateno and Kakariko, you know? Oh, it's you. You were kind enough to visit our shop, and yet I haven't been able to show you much hospitality. I'm sorry about that. We like to say it's son and done, and here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive, but when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about uh, things. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. The Gerudo have a law that says that they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, uh, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, sending, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Uh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and like that. I really should get back to the job site oh. soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full, too. Well, with the preparing Madison for the move, she's so busy she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Can I be that person for you? You know this guy's cool because he's got a big cutout of himself behind him. Oh, yeah. Well, it's because his face is the, is the brand of the construction company. He's like the head of the construction company, that's why. Anyway, what's up, Ronson? The Gerudo region doesn't get rain, so she don't, won't need any of her rain gear. It's hot during the day, of course, but the nights get cold. I should pack some warm things. Oh. oh, sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before we her big move. She's been doing so much between making friends with the villagers here and studying in her room. I want to support her however I can. <laughs> Once she's off on her journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. I want a dream home! Sorry, the door seems to be stuck. Maybe something blocking from the inside. So I have to get inside their house. Can I just go up through the fucking door and be like, I'm inside? Wow, that actually worked way better than I expected. Hello! I finally get to meet her. Wow, she's got a big old head. <laughs> she's got his hair! <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. 
Oh, God, that's funny. Okay, wait, I don't even have... There's no way to get in this room from inside the house. What the hell? All right, anyway, thank you for the good luck. Have a good lurk, Doug. Appreciate you hanging out. Good morning, Savota. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What's goodbye? Huh? Don't fright me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all the studying because I'm moving to my to Mama's hometown soon. Where's she from? There's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too. So I've made it <clears throat> my miss son. Oh my god. To memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to give a lesson to Granny Minari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to give, be giving you a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. Oh. 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 I see. Well, let's go have a lesson, shall we? With Madison. Under the sun. Shall we? Hi. Granny Minari, Sav Saba. <clears throat> oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Yeah. <laughs> of course, and it's a special okay, son, too, because a new student is joining the class. Oh. Okay, now pay attention, son. Granny Minari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Oh. Granny and Gerudo is, uh, what was it? Is it Vada? I don't even know. <laughs> Nope, too bad. Granny Minari's out of time, too. Do you want to give it a try? Sure. Word for Granny is Vava. Nope, too it's Vava. Okay. I guess we're in process of eliminating this. It's Vava. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. Ah, uh, yes, Vava. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown, so if every son can talk like that here, well... Then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. I got it! Papa's always so busy, so I'll just make it my miss son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Bye! You have fun, bye! Oh, Madison, she's had to grow up so quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her Mama and Papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's come a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Uh, I've already caught a ride on it. We'll be fine. I'm gonna go see what I can buy here real quick. You got arrows, you got extract, you got dazzle fruit and bomb flowers. I'm good. I want cooking stuff or armor, and you got neither. So peace out, bitch. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site, help him get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. Oh yeah? That fuckface? That one right there? I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm going to have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I going to do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Oh yeah? I got an idea. Check this shit out. You want to cover his eyes? Permanently, or just like for a temporary situation? <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> well, he can't see shit now. <laughs> Sucks to be you, bro. Is that gonna work? You can go now. Huh? Mister, did you do that? Hell yeah, I did. He can't see shit. I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. Yeah, his dumb ass will never know what to do. I didn't mean to attach it to a battery, but that just made it more funny. Nice. I did it! My mission is was a success! Yay, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. See ya. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my miss, son. You're welcome. Oh. 
All right, cool. Quest goes another step. All right, I'm sure I got to go down to where they're working, so we don't need the rail car for that. I can fly. I'm a savage. I don't need no car. I don't need a stinking car. Oh, boy. This looks like a hell of a time, y'all. What's up, player? Is someone here? That's me. Oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been thinking doing a, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. Ooh. And well, what I came up with is this. Guru Town's pretty far and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. But I want to make it really special. Something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. Mm. The sun. Ooh. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen Sunday lines around here. I could use them to make a dye, but I'd get them this beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something that side, I need like 10 of them. Oh. You need Sunday lines, Papa? Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make fine of them the new, my new Miss Sun. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. Sunday lines are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you'd find them. Oh. Don't worry, I've seen a Sunday line before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. Oh. The sky, huh? I already, I already got plenty of those fuckers. If only I had ten Sunday lines, then I'd be able to dye the balloon of right yellow. But I don't know where I'm going to get them. Here you go. I already got them. You're welcome. Huh? That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found all of them for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dyeing the balloon the color of the sun. Oh, I wasn't any help at all. I failed my mission. Mish, miss un. That's not true, Madison. Your papa's about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me out with that? <laughs> I will. I will, Papa. I'll make you the sun. <laughs> Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. <laughs> That's why every sun chooses Hudson Construction. Good stuff. Oh. At last, it's done and morning is already here. I'm just happy to get to watch my little one sleep a little longer. A little bit longer. Uh. Hudson. What's up? What's cracking, lady? Mm. Oh, Ronson. Uh, what's wrong? Don't, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Uh. I see. All right. Ooh. Let's go together. Then in Madison's special balloon. Then let's go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Sure. You got a way to steer this fucker? <laughs> wow, I feel like I've been turned into a bird. <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You don't want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. <laughs> the sun is waking oh. up. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. This DLC sure has a lot of content. I know, right? Fucking Breath of the Wild DLC, man. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, what's up, Sparty? Welcome in. It almost kind of feels the other way around, though, if you think about it. Like, it almost feels like this game is the full game. I know DLC kind of means that, but, like, they added a whole other story, and there's a lot more shit to do, obviously, and things are done. But, yeah, you can kind of see how this is, like, Breath of the Wild was the tech demo to make this game, in a way. In a way. Anyway, Papa, your present made me very happy. <sighs> Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any... Uh, Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry, you can go. Go become a wonderful Vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. Can't wait to hear about your adventures. 
I'll come visit you in Bruto Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. Oh. I'm going to become a great Vi like Mama. And I'll meet a wonderful Vo like Papa. Hi. So, Vork, every son. Anyway, after some back and forth, you decided to buy FF16 on day one. Heard enough good things. A lot of people saying it's the best FF story in a while. Well, that's oh. good to know. I bought it day one as well. In fact, my copy will probably be here today. Um, but yeah, I will be playing it as soon as I'm done with Dragon Quest, probably. But Mara will start it first. So, you know, have fun with it, Sparty. And, you know, you'll probably get far enough ahead of me to watch me. So that'll be cool. Anyway, Ronson, did I mean... Uh, yeah. Did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life mm -hmm. for us, too. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yeah, you're right, of course. <clears throat> okay, I am ready. Ah, oh. Oh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday lines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thanks, please, take this. Hey, I'll take a hundo, oh. sure. And this is for me. Sure, I'll take another hundo. Don't mind me. Ooh. You've already helped me so much. If you ever visit Grudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Grudo Town? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now, I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Don't worry, I'll just cross-dress like old times, and we'll be back in no time. I almost forgot I have to go cross-dress just to go there. kind of forgot about that, honestly. <laughs> uh, I didn't forget that you have to cross-dress at all. I just, in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, Grudo Town. I can't even go there until I cross-dress. Hello, is it dream home time? Welcome to Hudson Construction. With Madison off on her own little adventure, it seems, it looks like I can resume working on dream homes. I'm a little uneasy, though. There's some kind of massive sand shroud in Grudo Desert right now, after all. But there's nothing I can do about that. I'll just keep her home... I'll just keep her home safe until she returns. I'll keep her home safe. I gotcha. Read that weird. I was like, keep her home? She's not home, but keep her home safe. The home itself. Got it. And in the meantime, I need to buckle down and get to work. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or a fully furnished room or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures, or a place to care for your beloved horse. That's nothing compared to what's really important stuff, or what's really important, and what all of our customers truly enjoy, what? which is the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on your own. You pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family's in your debt for all of your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream house, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Sarkso. You know, thank you. How much does it cost? It's a vacant plot in the prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinary land alone would cost 3,000 rupees, but it's special for you. 1,500? Uh, I might... Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Well, glad to have you as your customer. You can get started right away. As I mentioned, we already have a prime plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southeast of here, and it has an ex excellent view. Southeast? Oh. Well, it is a bit far away. There's a shrine over in that direction, okay? Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with them there for more details. <laughs> I hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home, Sob Orc. Okay, so I can make my own fucking house, which... You could have a house in the previous game, but you couldn't really, like, make it yourself. You just have to, have to keep pouring money into it and let the guy build it for you. But you can make your own. That's cool. I'll go look into that in a second. Only reason I'm like, whatever, spend the money. I got plenty of gems to sell for money if I need money. But I also want to see if there's a way to make money around here. This whole construction thing feels like a money-making situation. Doesn't it? Okay. All these empty lots down here, I feel like I can help do something with all of this if I get the right side quest going. Where did the Hudson dude go, though? There's all these construction fools down here. But where's Hudson? Is he over here? Oh. 
Okay, well, this isn't Hudson, but that lady's got a dope fro. Check out that dope-ass fro. That's a dope fro, lady. Anyway, you got a quest. Hold on. Anybody up here? I'm just looking for Hudson. Where the fuck is he at? Alright, well, let's see what this quest is. It's like I told you. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we get to drive a, a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control. What kind of fool do you take us for? Uh. You got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the Zonai devices. Another debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh. So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Huh. You found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah. I'm standing right here. Don't cut me off out of this ch I, little chit-chat. Didn't you say those Zoes thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You tried telling me something that old and run down and still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all the way here. Couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabon? Oh. Hmm. Fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. Alright, well... I have vehicle control sticks. Oh, um, you're not with Hudson Construction. I guess if he's here, he must be involved. My name's Ferdinand. I'm working with Hudson and Zona. It's a pleasure to meet you. Right now, we're prototyping new vehicles. Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem we haven't found. A zone device capable of controlling vehicles. We tried all the devices in Terry Tabin and none of them worked. Try this steering stick, homie. Eh? Oh, what is this? I've never seen a zone device like this before. But I don't think I could do anything with it. Not like this, anyway. I wish there was a way we could use it. <laughs> Try it on that vehicle prototype so there so we can see how it works. You got it, dude. So I just told him about it, but I still, ha I still have to be the one that pulls it out and assembles it. This works, because I got a bunch of these steering sticks. Boom. So that's how you set it up. Yeah, you just put it on there and it goes. Yes, yes, now I can see how it could be used to steer something. Could you come here for a minute? I have a favor to ask. Sure, sure. Ah. Could you show us exactly what that device was capable of? Ah. I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption move? Say all the fancy words and the silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes, bitch. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh -huh. oh, if, you're gonna, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready to te for a test drive. Sure. Mm. Let's see. I think I'll flip switches here and there, and yes. Also, shit. My stream died. Hold ah. on. Ta-da! It's a test drive course. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Hold on, my stream is resetting. Ta da! It's a test drive course, you see. Let's do some driving, y'all. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them, so here's what I'd like you to do touch all the lights and return to where you start within the time limit. Do that, and we'll call the test drive a success. So I thought those were going to be like building spots. Those are going to be like. like driving obstacles? Weird. Anyway, until now, we've never been able to steer this thing properly. But if this device works, we'll have to build. We'll have built another new vehicle and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off the course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Okay, fine. Yeah. Stay on course. Everything's ready. Let's do yeah. it. Go ahead and board. Aw, yeah. Who's ready to go at driving? Oi. Let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple. Touch all the lights, return to the starting point in the time limit. Don't let go of the steering device or go too hard off course. You got it. <laughs> Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Mm. Hurry! Yeah, yeah, I got this. Let's go! Luckily, I have lots of battery. Wow, this is a... Uh, it's a vehicle, all right. But it steers pretty good, so I ain't mad at it. Do 
That was a pretty easy fucking first thing. I'm assuming there's gonna be more more vehicle challenges if that's all this one is. Cause that's too easy. Finished! Mr. Fee-hee-hee-hee-nished. I don't believe it. I never I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Whew, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tolly? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch the, that and not feel excited. <laughs> you can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out the Zonai device's full capabilities and, uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. I could use some replenished rupees because I just spent 1500 but yeah. Official member of the team, and you're welcome to have this. Sleepover ticket, ah. nice. Sleepover ticket for a stable. The closest one's probably South Akala. Dope. Oh. Head straight down that road, you can't miss it. Alright. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Do I actually have yeah. to leave and come back? Or can I just start the next one now? Vehicle's up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown race project, and finally I can do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Ah. Oh boy. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from <laughs> us. Terrytown race. Hmm, yes. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm, yes. Funny story about the test drive. When you went through this little quest, you actually put the car on the wrong side, meaning that the wheels were set to go backwards. It's when you were driving. I was able to go through the test even though I had to go backward the whole time. So you had to do some... You had to practice some reverse... Driving X Gamer, nice. Also, welcome in, sir. How you doing today? Okay, so I guess I have to pass some time. I have to pass time. That's fine. I'll come back to this. I'm not in a hurry to do these quests right now. They're not. They're not main, you know, side adventure quests. They're just side quests. I'm just looking for Hudson. Where the fuck did he go? Did I do this well? You know what? I don't think I had this well. I have it now. Hot-footed tireless frogs. Have I taken a picture of luminous ones? I have not. I think I've taken a picture of all the different deposits now. So I took one. I took a picture of the deposit down in the depths for zonites. I took a picture of a regular one and a high-value one. So now I'm taking a picture of a of a luminous one, so that's all the different rock type mining spots that I can get in the game. No bright bloom le leave seed left behind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, that's a breakable ceiling. Brodeo. I don't want to blow myself up. But that's a breakable ceiling, Brody. What have we here? Ooh. Okay. Now we're cooking. There's a cave underneath here too. That's that's some sneaky shit right there. Want to break that one? Can I just go underneath this? Okay, that works. Oh, free bubbles. All right. Wait, I feel like I saw this from underneath, from another direction. I think I did. How the hell am I supposed to get over there, though? There must be multiple entrances to this cave, because I did find this cave before. I remember now. And I remember seeing those bubbles in here. So that's sneaky. You got to get to them from the well. Interesting. I'm guessing I gotta get to that bubble frog from another entrance. Yeah. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Oh, we can just send out of here now. Thank you. Wait, what? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. It sent me to the other part of the cave. That's not what I want. I want to get the fuck out of this well, damn it. Get me out of here, man. Where's the surface, man? Thank you. 
Okay, so the cave entrance is probably over here somewhere. Maybe this is it right here. That would be dope. Bubble frog, bubble frog, hello. All right, another bubble gem, done. Hey, FML, you finished your apartment cleaning quest? GG. Did you reward yourself with a J.O. sesh or what? Or would that make your apartment dirty again? <laughs> Alright. I just want to find Hudson, but I don't see his bitch ass anywhere. Over here. He's probably back. Honestly, he's probably just back at the fucking... His house. Did I already get everything new out of here? I did not. There's one in here that I haven't gotten. Well, you know what that means. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, hope you're not expecting 100 rupees for cleaning that apartment, sir. Because you'll see no such reward from me, sir. Apparently the coffee shop in front of the building wants to buy the entire building here. Landlord wanted to show the apartments. Nah, I, I heard you talk about that in your uh, in your stream. Huh. So I know why you did your cleaning. I understand why. Alright, we got all the things out of this one now. But yeah, exactly. Clean apartment is its own reward. That is true. I'm guessing Hudson's back at his house, and I'm just dumb. Can we just take a ride back up? Going for a ride. Maybe going for a ride. Going for a slow ride. Take it easy. Slow ride. Doom, 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 doom. Take it easy. Doom, 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 doom. Slow ride. Take it easy. Down, 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 down. Get to the top of this shit. Send you some bitches. I'm sure I can spare some. Um, I don't have any bitches, okay? Rickety as fuck. Make a better fucking rail, homie. All right, where the hell is Hudson at? Did he go inside? Still blocked, huh? I don't know how we're supposed to get inside there, but where the fuck is Hudson at? Dude? Oh, he's over there. There he is. Found him. He's talking to the weird guy. That's cool. A bacoblin looks like. What I'm trying to say is a bacoblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like gloof. Its ears on the hand are quite floopy, and its horn goes zwiff. Hmm, that description of yours. Can't say I get the picture. What's going on? <laughs> Why, hello to you. What a coincidence it is to see you in a place like this. Thank you for your help with my little brother. Today. My little brother Colton is faring well thanks to you. Look, over there. Hmm, he isn't there now, but when the sun goes down, you'll find his charming multicolored stall upon that hill. He's working so very hard to make his dream come true. You should speak with him when you see him. Ah, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. My name again is Kilton. Once upon a time, I made goods for monster parts, you see, and traveled all about, selling them from my shop. <laughs> but I gave my stall to my younger brother and have come to this village to make a real dream I've long dreamed for so long. In fact, at this moment, I am discussing with President Hudson that very dream. Oh. Hello. Appreciate you helping me with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. I admit, hearing about the sand shroud that Gerudo Town is dealing with, well, it had me pretty worried. But she's safe with her Gerudo escort. I'm sure they'll take good care Ooh. of her. Ronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Sorry if you don't watch out. I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. Mm. Kilton asked me to make a monster sculpture, but I'm not really sure exactly what exactly he wants this monster sculpture to look like. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I'm an awful old describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a bacoblin if I could, but there is no art to be found in the bones of my body. 
Fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Well, it'd be better if I had a detailed picture. How about this picture? Do I have a picture of a bokoblin? I don't think I have a picture of a bokoblin right now. I have to go take one. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and go find a bokoblin. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I used to have pictures of bokoblins before I got rid of everything. But all right, we'll take a picture of a bokoblin, I suppose. This is actually a side adventure too. And I guess if I want to talk to the brother, I have to wait till nighttime and he'll be just be around here. So that's good to know. Um, Bacoblin. You know what? I'll let the Bacoblin thing marinate for a minute while I go over here. I'm going to go check out this whole house building situation. Let's go check out the whole house build situation. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, you know what I'm shizzling? I'm assuming that big square of land on the map is where I'm going to build my dope-ass house. My dope-ass dream home is going right here in this big square of land, y'all. Wait, where was this person I was supposed to talk to? Right here? There's supposed to be a person around here to talk to. Yay, my first house. I did buy the plot for it, Marl. I did. Kind of a dope spot for it. Anyway, here's the person. Hello. Son and done. It's Grantison. Hey, hello. You must be Link. I'm Grantison of Hudson Construction. Robinson told me about you. I'm here to answer all your home building fa questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, I could direct your attention this way. Ah. At least he's not asking for a pick. At least he's asking for a pick of a Bacoblin and not that of a Lionel. I mean, I could get a picture of a Lionel. Watch me. I haven't even found a Lionel yet other than in the underground underground area. But I have a couple places where I think I might find one. Anyway, this is the plot of land you purchased. If you place rooms we sell here, well, you're on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Let's see. It looks like your contract includes two rooms. Two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. Build my rooms, bitch. Oh. These are the rooms. The ones on the left are the, is the foyer, and the one on the right is the bedroom. They're covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry. We'll remove them once construction is complete. Okay. Ah. All you need to do now is place both rooms in the on the ground. Arrange the rooms so that they fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing. You can only place rooms in the roped-off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Okay. Mm. Now, let me know when you're done so I can perform the inspection. With that, please thoroughly enjoy taking your first step toward building your own dream home. Sweet. So, okay. I'm guessing I just have to grab the whole thing and throw it in there. Alright. Dream home time! This is where you dump most of your money, though. This is, you don't mind, tomorrow. Well, I mean, I know you like the whole building and, you know, creating your own Animal Crossing shit, basically, you know? So, okay, here's the foyer. Let me just kind of take a look at this. So, this is where you walk in. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to make this too complicated. For now. Once we get more rooms, I'll start messing around with it a little more. But I think for now, I'm just going to make that my house. You wish you could zoom out for this part? Yeah, probably. It might help. It might help actually. Honestly, going to an entirely different interface would be nice. Anyway, I'm done building for now. While well, you're looking for Korok Sage, you ran into a couple of Lionels. You're gonna give it your best shot this weekend, next gamer. Do it, man. Yeah, why does this guy follow you around? I didn't really like realize he was following me around to the last second, but like. Why does he follow you around? That is weird. It's like, bro, I'm just trying to build. Ah. I didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go inside. Dope. Uh -huh. You're telling me that was your first time? Nice work. Your dream home is complete. At last. So, mm -hmm. congratulations. Oh. I'll call Ronson over. Please wait here for just a moment.
Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? Of course, this is only the first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> I hope you continue to explore building your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with Grandson if you want to know more about them. This isn't much, but here's a little gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Hudson Construction Fabric. Okay. I'll be on your I'll be by your side for as long as it takes to build the home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look on the inside of the rooms you placed? I was gonna. Thank you. Let's go take a look at basic look at my basic bitch home. Shall we? It's pretty basic bitch, but I'm sure we'll make it more dope as time goes by. Nice little cupboard. Not really anything I can interact with at the moment, other than I can probably sleep here. So that's cool. Um, let's actually sleep till the next day. So we can, uh, do more of the driving quest if we want to. If we want to. You're gonna stream some of this tonight, Morrow? Are you sure you don't want to start Final Fantasy 16 tonight? Hmm? 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 Pretty sure our copy, or my copy, whatever, our copy should get here. I mean, you could if you wanted. That's up to you, though. Mm. Assuming that, assuming, assuming that our copy actually gets here before you start, which it should, but I don't think it's gotten here yet. Anyway, once again, congratulations on having that construction ah. project done. I hope an introduction to the process. Blah blah blah. Just tell me more about other rooms, more of the comforts of your home. Ah. If you can give that just buy a new one. New rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview them. Oh. Have a construction request? Build it! Mm. Oh. You can grant X Gamer the ability to uh, post a link, Maro, if you want. Or I'll do it if you don't. But you can give permission to a person if you want. Anyway, just a moment, please. Tell me about the things, sir. Sparty's going to start playing it tomorrow. Give me a head start. Ah. Well, Morrow might get ahead of you. I'm not starting it today. Morrow might, though. Anyway, thanks for waiting. We're all set to begin construction. Ah. Wait, what? I just wanted to know what the options Ooh. were, bro. I need ah. more rooms. Ooh. Okay, so the rooms aren't super duper expensive. At least not this. Oh, yeah, they're actually not bad. I was expecting it to be much more expensive. Damn. Morrow, I could see why you would love this. <laughs> Look at all these options. Holy crap. And this is only, like, to begin with. I wish you there's more, too. Anyway, I'm not doing this right now. I'm going to do house building on my own time. How about that? House building on my own time. <laughs> We're not doing that right now. All right, bye. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm, I don't want to do this right now. Anyway, the site you're looking for is Map Genie. Shouldn't be too difficult to find. You found it useful for your hunt. Dude, I don't want to ah. do this anymore. I'm done. Ah. Get me out of here. My house isn't even changed, bro. Just leave my house alone. It'll be fine. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. It works. Mm -hmm. I didn't even touch anything. See ya. Alright, money goes there. After I bought all the things, of course. Things being armor and shit from places I have already been. Okay, so cool. Um, I should go take a picture of a goblin. Real quick. Crap. I just saw that tower thing over there with the horn on it. I think there should be a goblin over there, right? Let's hope so. I also need to kill more moblins to get some more moblin guts to upgrade all my armor and shit. If you knew how to do that, you would? Wait, do what? You might have to do it? What, what do I might have to do? Oh, the, the, the link thing? The link thing, sorry. You're behind on answering me. Sorry.
Well, how do I even do that? Hello? I thought it was just right here. Give her gives. Okay, well, apparently it's not working. Or at least I don't know where the hell. It, they, they changed something and I'm not able to do it. Does it have to be a basic bitch bacoblin or can it be a blue or black one? Does it matter? I wonder if that matters. I hope it doesn't matter. I'm about to take a picture of this blue one. Eh, I'll replace the old one, sure. So you're gonna witch your breaks about to end, so you'll be taking your leave for now. Alright, X Gamer, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it as always. You have a good work day, sir. Oh hi, Wolfies. Hello, Wolfie. Alright, back to Terrytown to figure out this whole Bacoblin statue situation real quick. Just because. You just read a badass chapter for Daenerys right now on in the Game of Thrones book. Happy to hear it. We'll have to talk about it later. But yeah, the show definitely changes a lot. For show, for show. Also, sorry if you hear this uh, lawnmower outside, but he is like right next to the door right now. We're right next to the window right now. Anyway, here's your picture, bro. I got a blue bacoblin y'all can use. Here. Da-da! That's exactly, that's the bacoblin I'm looking for. You can hear it, but it's faint. Okay, that's good at least. Now, this is a good picture. Let me use it as reference. I can make a sculpture. No problem. Sure, you can have that picture, sir. Sun and done. Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. And done. Oh, shit. It actually puts it in the pose? That's kind of awesome, actually. Look at this. It is every very monster sculpture I've been longing for. It was easy. Wow, it's so lifelike. Now, prettiest please, would you pick the perfect spot to display this picture on the stage over yonder? I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I've got a rule against making this kind of decision. Too much responsibility. Not my thing. Ah, but who will arrange it on the stage for me? Oh. I guess I'll do it here. Perfect. He can go up here. He's looking out over the fucking horizon. There you go. You haven't even gotten this far in the quest? Really? All I had to do was talk to him, and then he's just like, hey, do this. Anyway, I found a nice spot for it. There you go. What did you just say? Oh, you just haven't taken a picture of a Bacoblin yet? Fair enough. I'm assuming he's going to have me take pictures of a bunch of monsters based on how this is going. Anyway, such artistry. It's everything I ever hoped it would be. So realistic, too. It's as if my nose holes might catch a whiff of monster scent at any moment. It's true. Even I can mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing pre monster. Yes. Now we must show it to every eyeball in the village. Sure. Everyone, come witness. Come bear witness. To my greatness. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Come look see. Present to you the famed Bacoblin. Do not fear. Draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ma. Ah, when you look at like this, it is rather cute. Ahem, <laughs> this sight was has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. Without further ado, this adorable cuddleable monster is called a bacoblin. They make house and home throughout Hyrule and are perhaps the monster you've sh rubbed shoulders bones rubbed shoulder bones with most. With their large foopy ears and cute gloofy snouties, one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Sadly, their social skills are quite stunted, and it's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. <laughs> Goodness, yes, I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. <laughs> Look and learn, then you won't hate. Understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. Cool. 
Gotta rhyme all the time. <laughs> thank you, and thank you once more. Well, you've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you might say. Cool, monster extract. Sure. <laughs> you are a great artist, worthy of renown, and because of you, I've taken the first step toward making my dream come true. Long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them for all the eyeballs to see. Hope this will help shine a light on those magnificent creatures and many wonderful ways about them. Alright, monster number one. Cool. <laughs> Haro, Riri? In that case, I implore you to make a Horblin next. Horblins have big bands like Voosh and a coat that's quite... Whoa! They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Hmm, your description. Still don't know what it looks like. Sorry, I'm an awful describer. I will draw a detailed picture. So I don't think I have a Horriblin right now. I don't think I do. I want to say I don't. I want to say that's a no. I still have a, a, a Moblin. I'm going to hold on to that one because now I know I might need it. And these dragons. I will hold on to them as well. But yeah, I don't have a... I fought, I fought a bunch of Horriblins earlier, but I didn't take I didn't take any new pictures of them because I already had them. I'll come back to this. Not a side quest. I am in dire, like, need to do this, you know. But I'm gonna go see if there's another driving quest with these these ladies over here. Look at all the vehicular stuff. Oh yeah. Vehicular stuff everywhere. Terrytown race is a go, y'all. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. Oh, damn. Look at that track. With the help of Cuds and Construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to Terrytown Race. With Tally as our best driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design, and we arrived at this masterpiece. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Sarxo. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Ah. While you're at it, why not spice things up a little with a little competition? Say, you versus Tally? She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes, you know. If you can beat her this time, well, then you win. <laughs> yeah, not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tally's best time is two minutes exactly. How about it? Want to see if you can beat Tally's score? Sure. Yeah. Woohoo! Can't help but woo and who when I get excited. <laughs> Once you've ready the vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we prepared. Alright. Oh. Once you've helped us collect data, any zona device or building material you find, well around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything's ready. Alright, so now I know why all these freaking vehicle parts are here. So you can make a dope ass vehicle. Sounds good to me. Alright. What if I... I don't know how I want to do this yet. Hold on. I'm just gonna... Boop. I'm gonna use these wheels. These wheels are probably faster. Than those big-ass wheels. And honestly, I don't think I need more than that. I think those wheels are gonna make me go pretty fast. But we'll see. If not, we'll we'll, uh, we'll uh, soup it up a little more. <laughs> oh yes, the vehicle looks good. Oh. Ready to begin? Oh. Hell yeah. yeah! Steering stick's all set up. Let's do it. Mm. First, I'll activate the switch for the course. Okay. Hey. Tally's record's two minutes. You gotta touch all the lights and return to the starting point. Don't take your hands off the wheel and go too far off course. You got it. Let's go. Let the game begin. Oh yeah, this goes way faster than those big wheels. We're gonna be just fine. Through the splishy water, oh yeah. God, I never thought I'd play a fucking Zelda game where this is the gameplay mechanics. Building yourself vehicles, driving around. What the hell, man? It's 
fun, but just surprising to be a Zelda game. Also, I fucking wrecked your score by like a minute and 40 seconds. Minute and 35. This game better get game of the year. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Unless 16 is, in more, is somehow more incredible or something on that level. This is probably top contender so far. I mean, we'll see. Can't believe it. You actually broke Tally's record. Here, this is my way of thanking you. Three Zonai charges. Woohoo. Who would have thought a Vogue could race like that? All right, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. Your mastery of the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Well, well, well. How about that? It's not often Tally has that much, much to say. Seems like her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. After seeing how you optimize your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You should and I should talk. Come see me later, will you? All right. So I guess we can do more levels of this. I don't think I'm going to do another one right now, right now. But let's see what else we can work on. Terrytown stuff kind of feels done for now, you know? I feel like I've done enough Terrytown stuff for the moment. We got this monster thing we can do. We can build my house up. We can do these races. They're all fun. Good times. But, like, let's see what else I can go do right now.